now you can tokenize anything you want, so you can tokenize real world assets. Like, you know, if you, if you have some like, like supercar sitting in a garage, yeah, you could, you could probably go to a bank, borrow money against your supercar, and I'm sure the bank will do its due diligence and require some sort of guarantees on the storage of the car. We could make that more democratized, right? Why have just the bank be able to like, quote unquote, buy the tokenization of your car in exchange for, for other assets, as opposed to not letting, letting like anybody to do that, right? And that opens a lot of opportunities, not just on the, you know, like supercar owner, borrowing money on his car, that, that's, that's silly. But it creates opportunities also for creating like, a, uh, like inflation hedge portfolios for, for, for like retail users. Like imagine you get a million people together to collectively buy tokenized artwork, tokenized cars, tokenized jewelry, tokenized real estate, right? Like none of this is gonna be decentralized. The point here isn't the decentralization, it's the, like the, the ease of transfer, like the usability of it, technical implementation, and possibly the permissionlessness of it.